Every MMA event that passes, I've noticed that there are at least two, if not more, late stoppages. Even the referees that we hold in high regard make egregious errors when it comes to their decisions as to when to stop a fight. This issue is less of a reflection of the referee's character, but it is an issue that is deeply ingrained into our culture. And I say our, because unfortunately, the majority of the fan base want to see fighters separated from their consciousness to be truly satisfied that they have spent their attention dollars or any other kind of dollars wisely. Trust me, I was part of that culture, but in light of the recent research I have done, I felt compelled to say something about it. Here's a controversial statement. Big John McCarthy was far too late to stop the fight between John Jones and Daniel Cormier. On average, fighters receive an additional three strikes after they have been knocked out. In addition, fighters will receive an average of 18 additional strikes in scenarios where they are disoriented, preceding a TKO. Let me acknowledge the fact that I'm not naive about how hard a referee's job is. When they stop a fight too early, we crucify them. And when they're too late, some of us criticize that. Unfortunately, the unified rules of MMA are far too ambiguous regarding stoppages. When reading what the rules are regarding stoppages, I came across the very worrying fact that it is in the absolute discretion of the referee as to when to stop a fight. There are no rules regarding how many strikes a fighter should receive before it's decided that it's a good idea to stop the fight. The research surrounding stoppages has not been added to the rule set. The consequences of late stoppages have not been considered and in a lot of ways I feel like our sport is still in the dark ages. In this video, I'm going to attempt to provide some solutions to this issue because the last thing we want is for our sport to become illegal because of an unfortunate death at the highest levels of the sport. While the death will be tragic, I'm also cognizant of the CTE epidemic that American football is experiencing, and I do not want that to become a reality in our sport. We now know that statistically, the heavier the weight class, fighters older than 35, the earlier the round and previous knockouts all contribute to the likelihood of a knockout. Therefore, as a referee, if you're refing two fighters who are heavyweights and also older than 35, you need to be particularly focused on the first few minutes of the fight. When you are refing someone who has received a knockout 2-3 months ago and this information is not hard to find, then you also need to be aware of that. A concussed fighter who receives additional, unnecessary blows will need twice the amount of time to recover in between fights than one who was knocked out cleanly. Statistics have shown that fighters who receive a knockout will hit their head on their canvas 90% of the time. As far as I'm concerned, that is enough of an additional impact to justify a stoppage. Let's start to change the culture surrounding our sport. We need to sacrifice some of our entertainment for the sake of these guys' longevity. And when I say longevity, I mean in their fighting careers, but also in their health in general. We have enough evidence to show us what the consequences will be if we don't. And that is not a future you or I want to see. Thank you for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you shared this video with any referees or fighters you know so that we save the future of our sport.